y'all? It's your girl, Sakina Cooper, here with GOCC. I have some awesome news. Guess what? We are launching a platform, a young adult ministry, just for you and me. We want to have an opportunity to talk about everyday circumstances, lives, situations, whatever it may be that we're going through and how to tackle these with the Word of God. So thank you for joining us. Feel free to like, share, comment, tag a friend, and subscribe. We want to get the word out because we want to create a community of young adults that can come together to encourage each other in the word of God. So thank you again for joining us. Today, I want to talk about something that's been very personal for me. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of guarding your heart. And the topic of discussion is heart check. In this topic, we're going to discuss why it's so important to guard your heart and what the word of God says about guarding your heart. So let's just start off here with the passage, Proverbs 4, 23, and it says, guard your heart above all else, for it is the source of life. That in itself is so powerful. And you may ask, what does it mean to guard your heart? So we're going to get into that and we're going to discuss more about guarding our heart, but I want to share something with you. So Solomon, he wrote Proverbs. Let me tell you a little bit about Solomon. So Solomon was a king. He had everything you could imagine. He had mansions, money, gold, women, chariots. I mean, chariots are equivalent to what we would compare to like a Beamer, a Benz, or a Bentley. I mean, this dude had it going on. He was that dude. God even gave him wisdom because he led the kingdom. But as Solomon looked back over his life, he realized that because he did not guard his heart, it strayed him away from God. So that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we want to get into today. What does it mean to guard your heart? So when the Bible says guard your heart, we're not speaking of the organ. We're talking about your inner man, your spirit. And so taking time to reflect on your inner man, what does your heart look like? Wow, I mean, that's something to really think about. What does your heart look like today? I know for me, when my heart was rotten, I mean, even still now, I have my sin issues and I have my struggles. But I remember a time when I was at my all-time low and my heart was rotten. And it was beginning to show in my life and my actions and in my decisions. And even during that time, I would always remember, guard your heart above else. But I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do to guard my heart. So as I dove into the word of God, I realized that one of the ways we can guard our heart is to live in God's word because he will protect and direct our path. So you may be wondering, what does that look like, right? You're like, what does that look like? So I remember going through this time where I was looking on social media and I'm looking at everything everyone's going through right now. A lot of people are emotionally drained. Um, people, you know, our age are struggling, of course, financially because of the pandemic. Some are struggling mentally and emotionally. So this led me to the word of God. And when I got here at Proverbs 4 and 23, I just began to read it patiently, slowly, and over and over again. I pulled out my notepad and I started writing down, what does guarding my heart look like for me? And so I had to write a list of the things that I was struggling with the most, things that I mean were strongholds for me that were holding me down. And I had to write down what that meant for me. And I said, okay, so why is it important for me to guard my heart? For everything that I do flows from it. Every decision, every action, even thoughts. I mean, have y'all had some thoughts where you're sitting there like, I'm glad ain't nobody heard that, because I have. And that's why this is so important. So as we live in God's word by taking time to be patient with the word, taking time to write down where this applies in our life and how we can make it better, I just challenge you five to 10 minutes a day. That's all God wants. Five or 10 minutes a day where you can sit down and study the word. As we continue to dive into guarding our hearts, you know, I don't want to spoil it all because we have a part two coming out. Yes, stay tuned for part two. And I just want you to think about that today. Where is your heart? What does it look like? No matter the amount of money. I mean, Solomon looked back and like, wow, this is all vanity. He looked back and he realized that no matter how much he had, it's all about where his spirit lied, right? 
Isn't that crazy that you can have everything in the world, but if you do not guard your heart, it means nothing. So let's keep Solomon in mind as we dive into this lesson. I encourage you, guard your heart today. Be careful what you feed your mind. It's okay to turn off the TV, spend time with God, find you a good book on the way to work today. Instead of listening to music, put on a podcast. What we feed our minds is what we become. And if we do not guard our hearts, it would lead us astray. Thank you guys for listening. I look forward to seeing you in part two of Heart Check.